So I wanted to go over what's uh, inside of these throttle bodies, electronic throttle bodies. Um, so you could see, let me see if I can get this thing off of here. Pull the cover off. See, this is the gear reduction I'm talking about, thing that, that can snap your finger. Look at the size of that pinion gear to the, what we call spur gear. Look at that difference, look at that ratio difference right there. So it has a, a whole gear set in here for gear reduction. This one comes out. This one's just a regular DC motor. Nothing special about that. And that goes in the housing here. And you got like your idler gear, your transfer gear. And this is your actual cam gear that turns the plate. And it's got a regular return spring on it on the inside in there. Just like a regular throttle body. And it's got a regular stop on it. A min minimum stop on there. And you can see there's no gear issues, but there is um, problems with this part of it right here. And it's not these leads right here for the motor necessarily. It's in the electronics right here. I'm not sure exactly how this works, but obviously the, the uh, position sensor gets read right here also. As you can see, the only thing on the end of this is it's almost like a tone ring. It's like a reluctor ring. Looks just like a regular reluctor ring. See, it has the magnet in there and all that stuff. And when that moves, let me see if I can show you. When that moves, it can read it. And you can see that part lines up right there with it. And that's the actual electronics in there, but it also reads the position right there based on that tone ring. So what I've seen on the newer cars anyways, they have this style. This part, which is what the major failure is, besides that it's gears and you know a regular reliable DC motor. The plates don't stick usually. There's no problem with the bearings or the spring snapping. It's the electronics here. And what I've seen is that these ones are available separately to be rebuilt. They're starting to do it to reduce their warranty cost. So before you go out and change your throttle body, it's a good idea to check and see if this is available. And this just bolts right on the side. It's very uh, unintrusive to change out.